few years ago, Siemens Energy set up a state-of-the-art service center in Mulheim an der Ruhr in Germany to maintain and repair industrial and steam turbines. These typically complex plant systems are not only analyzed and worked on by highly specialized technicians, but also require special technical equipment. It all comes together here in Mulheim. We've put a lot of modern machines into our service center in order to provide excellent service for our customers. The amount of work necessary to achieve this in terms of resources, money and investment was incredible. When production manager Michael Ziglitz met with his team, the focus is always on effective and rapid planning of processing steps. A run through the service center includes the fields of analysis, maintenance and repair, and therefore the individual components are passed from one position to the next as they would be in an assembly line. The machines are delivered here and are then inspected as a first step. We have set up an inspection line where the components are first dismantled after delivery if it is a complete machine. But sometimes it is only machine parts that need to be repaired. The parts are dismantled and because the machines are also very often dirty due to the long operating lifetime, this is followed by cleaning so that we can actually see anything at all. The next step, after sandblasting, is the test or diagnostic section, where the components are crack tested, a non-destructive crack test, followed by dimensional inspection. The repair management team records the findings and makes them available to the customer. Then the actual repair process can begin. The process of assessment and analysis is carried out in close communication with the customers. Many tests, such as the endoscopic examinations, are carried out directly at the customer's site because Siemens Energy has an extensive network of on-site analysts and field staff. Our field service fitters are, as the name implies, the fitters on site who dismantle, inspect, overhaul and reassemble the plant and then put it back into operation. We work on a wide range of different plants, including not only turbines, but also generators, gearboxes and auxiliary units in the customer's plant. We also work on non-OEM products and would like to position ourselves broadly across the market as well. But many tasks are not always so easy to implement on the construction site. That's why we have our workshop where the complex tasks are taken on. Here we also carry out a variety of tasks. Crack tests, material tests, to determine whether it is possible to install the parts again, or whether we have to do something. And if something needs to be done, there is also a clear defined repair order after the parts have run through the diagnostic line. The actual repair process starts with machining and repairing the parts. Here we have all the machining processes and we also have the welding processes because not everything is newly manufactured. Many things are also repaired. So it's important that we also have welding expertise on site. Next, we go through the repair steps, which then leads to the parts being reworked and repaired before the machine is also reassembled, that is, put back together. Afterwards, the machines, or the corresponding machine parts, if it is not a complete machine, are then returned to the customer. This is a description of the complete run through the service center, and the customer can always be present. At the beginning, naturally, during the damage analysis, and then later during the major highlights of maintenance and repair. Customers are often present during a diagnostic inspection. They want to have a look at it. They only see the machine once it has been taken out of the system, but not how it looks when it is taken apart. They want to get a feel for what needs to be done in the first place. And when it comes to final acceptance, Siemens Energy has another very special technical attraction, the vacuum balancing system. When a repaired rotor is balanced to operating speed in the final quality step, this is seen as a milestone. This is proof that the part will also run with low vibrations when reinstalled in the machine later. 
These are the classic acceptance points where the customer also works with us and is present to see it with his own eyes. The machines in the service center can process turbine parts and generators weighing up to 35 tons. And if these machines are not sufficient, the parts are simply moved into one of the neighboring halls where even larger equipment is used. This flexibility is also a great advantage when it comes to maintenance and repair requests at short notice. The biggest challenge in the service business is that machine downtimes are a fact. And they are, of course, not based on the capacities we have in the workshop. It's always the case that in the service business that you have to respond very rapidly because the customer naturally incurs costs due to the downtime. That's why we are set up in such a way that we can respond very quickly. In a large network like ours, even if we don't have the capacity at that particular moment, we can get help from our colleagues. Scheduling flexibility, solidarity in the Siemens network, and highly specialized equipment, we invite every customer to come and see the special technical facilities of the Siemens Energy Service Center Mulheim an der Ruhr for themselves. Mm -hmm.